Election Observation Group Yaga Africa has called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to intensify the education of citizens and stakeholders on the consequences of vote trading, especially on election day ahead of the Oshun gubernatorial polls. The group made this known via its pre-election observation report made available. As contained in the report, Yaga Africa confirmed that the build-up to the Oshun gubernatorial poll has been blighted by vote merchandising, despite consistent voter education by the election management body and civil society organizations. Meanwhile, Yaga Africa has urged security agencies to ensure adequate deployment of its personnel to strategic areas during the elections. We are now being joined by the media officer for Yaga Africa, Moshud Issa. Thank you, Moshud, for joining us on the news brief this afternoon. Thank you very much for hosting Okay. So your organization has confirmed that the build-up to the Oshun gubernatorial poll has been blighted by vote merchandising, despite consistent voter education. Now, who is responsible for this, and what exactly is the way forward? So basically, as, as expected, the usual suspects are usually the, the major political parties, the major contenders for the, uh, for the elections, are the usual suspects for this uh, vote merchandising just as we saw in the governorship election in Pekiti states. Unfortunately, this has become uh, consistent uh, right from when we started observing the pre-election environment in April, where we think uh, politicians seem to, seem to prioritize this vote buying over each this campaign. So those involved are usually the key major stakeholders, the key contenders of the, uh, going into the election. Uh, what is the way forward? First is consistent education of the of the of the citizenship of the prospective voters. Since it seems that um, uh, the political parties or the political actors are bent on following this route, so first consistent education of the voters, and then of course expanding the scope of um, responsibility of the security agents. The few times the times we've engaged this security agency, especially the Nigerian police, they said an electoral official has to invite them to make an arrest, especially the uh, issue of violating the act comes up. So we think uh, the responsibility of security can be expanded in such a way that they can make arrest easily when these electoral laws are being violated. And then, of course, we also call on um, uh, EFCC and ICPC to also develop a strategic role, strategic ways in which to arrest or prevent uh, machineries. We noticed that we commended the airport when they arrested um, some machineries in Egypt State in, uh, just last month, the elections. Uh, but this time around, we think they should develop uh, proactive means to prevent this and also find a way to expand their scope and can see that they arrest uh, these uh, machineries. But importantly, we have to continue to educate electorates, encourage them not to start their vote uh, going into the election. Okay, so you mentioned something about the security. Now that your Oshun election is less than two weeks away, your pre-election report confirms that there have been activities of hoodlums and courtists in the state. So what does this entail for the elections? Yeah, so, of course, we all know that uh, election it can only be credible and uh, transparent when there is in an atmosphere of, of peace. And we think that these political talks and these uh, uh, courts have tendency of uh, threatening the, the peaceful nature of the, of the election. We've seen that in Malaysia, we've seen that in Ejibo, we've seen that in Atakumosa. At some point in Malaysia, we, we observed that they actually disrupted PVC collection at INEC office, this is a major issue, and this is some kind of intimidation that would prevent people from first collecting their PPC and then participating in the process. So activities of courts, activities of political uh, talks can first lead to voter suppression where people are, would become scared, become intimidated to participate in the process. And then, of course, it always have tendency of uh, affecting the peaceful nature of the election if the security agency did not check this. Uh, fortunately for us, we were able to engage the public relation officer of the Nigerian police and the public relation officer of the civil defense corps yesterday. And they assured us that they are conducting some series of raids 
to, to arrest um, these uh, criminal uh, elements before the election. So we encourage them that they should remain proactive to, to prevent uh, these uh, political talks from, from threatening the electoral process. Because, of course, election has to be credible. For election to be credible, it has to be in the atmosphere of peace. People need to feel free to come out and vote without fear, without some kind of suppression. So, the, of course, the, politic, the security agencies have an important role to actually cop this. And it is barely 10 days to the governorship election in Ocean State. Okay, because it is actually very important that that is in place, else it might lead to political apathy. So let me ask you, so far, would you say that the Osho electoral and are gearing up for the polls, and how do you think the turnout would be? So it's always, uh, it's usually tied to, first I would, first com um, the electoral commission, according to the timetable, the timeline of the election, they religiously follow this timeline um announcement of the election itself, mm -hmm. conducting party primaries, voter education, training of ad hoc staff, PVC, uh, continuous voter registration, PVC collection is still ongoing. Our uh, report confirmed that we printed over 333,000 uh, permanent voters' cards. And we can confirm that during our visit to the, to the IFE, IFE local government uh, yesterday, we saw citizens still collecting their PVC. So on the part of the Electoral Commission, we think um, to a large extent they followed um, these guidelines, their timeline religiously. So uh, we all know the candidates for the elections, but matters arising, one of the things is we hope that before the election, the commission can tell us um, the number of PVCs that have been collected before the elections, which is... Um, which this would improve the transparency of the of the process because um we have to know we already know the total number of registered voters which is about 1.9 million registered voters but we need to know the number of how many voters are, are collected before the election so as regarding turnout unfortunately in recent times there have been steady decline in in voter turnout in in Nigeria's election so okay. and this is this is usually unpredictable until you go to the Election. I remember in in a, so eight years you, ago we you, had would you say that the electionary process has been ego based? Had, Did you get that? Would you say that the electionary process has been issue based? The electionary process has been blighted by votes buying and selling rather than issue based. Rather than politicians to sell their uh, manifesto to the to the electorate. They focus on every gift and money. So would not say it has been issue based. Okay. All right. Thank you so very much, Mashud. This is Alpha. We'll be able to go on this episode. So we have been speaking with Mashud Issa, the media officer, who gave us findings from their pre election report ahead of the Austrian governorship polls. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.